Hello students, welcome to our channel Learning Notebook. It is always fun to learn maths through activities. So today we have come up with a maths project on basics of geometry. Before starting with this project, let me tell you that we have made many more maths art integrated activities, projects and working models on our channel Learning Notebook. You can find the list of all such videos on our website as well. The link to our website is below in the description box. For this activity, we need a white chart paper, a ruler, a black marker pen, a pencil, a pair of scissors, a bottle of glue and two or three match boxes. Aim of this art integrated project is to understand the terms used in geometry and make a beautiful chart to show basics of geometry. If you still not have subscribed to our channel Learning Notebook, then do subscribe it and make sure to press the bell icon. Students, we would like to tell you that we have made videos on every chapter from class 1 to class 10 mathematics. We also have interesting maths quizzes, worksheets, working models, activities and projects on each chapter. So I would suggest you to check out our channel Learning Notebook. Now we will start with our activity. Let's take a white chart paper and write the heading Basics of Geometry. You can also draw borders on this chart paper as shown here. Now let's start with the terms of geometry. So first term is point. Point is the basic unit of geometry. So let's take two black bindis and paste them. Write A and B against them. So these are two points and we read them as point A and point B. Next is line. A line is a set of points which goes indefinitely in both the direction. So let's take two math sticks and paste them in the opposite direction to form a line GH. So students, we will read line as line GH or line HG and we write them as GH or HG with a small line on it. Next we have ray. A ray is a part of the line that has a starting point and it goes on forever in one direction. So let's take one matchstick and paste it to form the KJ where K is the starting point. So we will read this as way KJ and we will write it as KJ with a small ray on it. Fourth one is angle. Two rays having common endpoint forms an angle. So let's take two matchsticks and paste them as shown here. They form angle AOB. Now let's represent types of angles. First one is acute angle. So what is acute angle? 
एक्यूट एंगल इज ग्रेटर देन जीरो डिग्री बट लेस देन नाइंटी डिग्री सो अगेन वी विल टेक टू मैच स्टिक्स एंड पेस देम एज शोन हेयर सो दे हैव फॉर्म एन एंगल ए ओ बी विच इज एन एक्यूट एंगल नेक्स्ट टाइप ऑफ एंगल इज राइट एंगल अ राइट एंगल मेजर्स एग्जैक्टली नाइंटी डिग्री सो लेट्स अगेन पेस टू मैच टेक्स as shown here to form a right angle poq next type is obtuse angle what is obtuse angle an angle which measures greater than 90 degree but less than 180 degree so we will take two matrices and paste them to form obtuse angle mon next one is straight angle a straight angle measures exactly 180 degree so paste two matrices to form a straight angle rob as shown here then we have reflex angle so what is reflex angle the angle which measures greater than 180 degree but less than 360 degree so students again we will paste two matrices to form reflex angle cod next type of angle is complete angle measure of complete angle is 360 degree and the last type of angle is zero angle measure of zero angle is zero degree so we will paste two matrices to represent complete angle as well as zero angle if you still not have subscribed to our channel learning notebook then do subscribe it and make sure to press the bell icon students we have got a separate video on working model of types of angles so i would recommend you to check out this video the link to this video is below in the description box next we have pair of angles first one is adjacent angles so what are the adjacent angles two angles are adjacent angles if they have a common side and a common vertex so students let's represent adjacent angles by pasting three matrices as shown here where angle 1 and angle 2 are adjacent angles next pair of angles is linear pair of angles if sum of adjacent angles is 180 degree they are called as linear pair of angle so we are going to paste three matrices as shown here here angle 1 and angle 2 are linear pair of angles and angle 1 plus angle 2 equal to 180 degree then we have complementary angles two angles are said to be complementary angles if the sum of their measures is 90 degree 
So we will take four matchsticks to form angle one and angle two, such that angle one plus angle two equal to ninety degree. Next pair of angles is supplementary angles. Two angles are said to be supplementary angles if the sum of their measures is one hundred eighty degree. So, students, again we will paste four matchsticks to form angle one and angle two, but this time angle one plus angle two equal to one hundred eighty degree. And lastly, we have vertically opposite angles. Students, vertically opposite angles are made by intersection of two lines. So let's paste four matchsticks to represent two lines L and M. As you can see, these two lines are forming. Four angles at the intersection point: angle one, angle two, angle three, and angle four. Here, angle one and angle two are vertically opposite angles, and they are equal. Similarly, angle three and angle four are also vertically opposite angles. And are equal. Students, we have a separate video to understand this theorem. Vertically opposite angles are equal with the help of an interesting and colorful maths activity. The link to this video is below in the description box. Now, next important concept of geometry is. Pair of lines. So first one is intersecting lines. If two lines have a common point, they are called as intersecting lines. So let's paste four matchsticks to form intersecting lines L and M as shown here. These two lines are. Meeting at a common point called O. And the next type is parallel line. Two lines which never intersect and extend indefinitely in both the directions are called parallel line. So this time we will paste four matchsticks to form. Two parallel lines L and M. If you still not have subscribed to our channel Learning Notebook, then do subscribe it and make sure to press the bell icon. Now, next term used in geometry is concurrent lines. When two or more lines pass through a single point, they are called as concurrent lines. So let's take six matchsticks and paste them to form three concurrent lines L, M, and N, and they are meeting at a single point called O. Next, we have intersecting point. Which we just learned while understanding intersecting lines. So here O is the intersecting point. Next we have concurrent point, which we understood while learning about concurrent lines. So here C is the concurrent point. 
Next term used in geometry is collinear points. So what are collinear points? If three or more points lie on the same line, they are called as collinear points. So students, let's paste three black bindis on the same line to represent three collinear points A, B and C. Next is non-collinear points. When three or more points do not lie on the same line, such points are called non-collinear points. So let's paste three black bindis as shown here to represent non-collinear points P, Q and R. Next term used in geometry is transversal. So what is the transversal? A line which intersects two or more lines at different points is called a transversal. So here students, we are showing parallel lines L and M and then we have pasted three more matchstick to form transversal T. This transversal T is intersecting these two parallel lines at two different points. Next is angles made by transversal. Students, we have got a separate video on angles made by transversal. So I would recommend you to watch this video. The link to this video is below in the description box. First type of angles made by transversal are corresponding angles. This transversal T is making four angles here and another four angles here. So let's name them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. Students, if two lines are parallel, then remember pair of corresponding angles made by the transversal are equal. So here, angle 1 equal to angle 8. Angle 2 equal to angle 5. Angle 3 equal to angle 6 and angle 4 equal to angle 7. Next we have alternate interior angles which are angle 4 and angle 5, angle 3 and angle 8. Next is alternate exterior angles, which are angle 1 and angle 6 and angle 2 and angle 7. And the last type of angles made by transversal are interior angles on the same side of transversal. So here such angles are angle 4 and angle 8. And then angle 3 and angle 5. So students, this was our maths project on geometry. If you are a teacher, this project will certainly help you to teach students the concept of basic terms of geometry. And if you are a student, this activity is very useful for you to make maths art integrated project on geometry. Thanks for watching. Do share my videos and my channel with your friends and family. Bye-bye. See you in the next video.